Hello everyone, this is the Miwa PR. This is going to be a short introduction because the picking is very long. I got this lock shipped from Japan and I consistently worked on it for two to three hours every night. I took this lock apart, mapped the pins, mapped the gates, figure out, figured out the binding order, and now I managed to get it on video. So let's get to it. So this is the Miwa PR. That's what the key looks like. This is a monster of a lock, so I'll try to try to pick this, get it on video. So basically I know the internals. I've mapped the pins out so I know exact binding order. So the first step is to get pin two, one, and six into their false gates till they become springy. So I've done that. So now pin two is binding. So I got him into a serration. So at this point, I'm imparting heavy tension and I loosen it up to set the pins. So now I'm picking pin 3 onto its gate until it becomes springy. Okay, 3 springy, 1 springy. Six is springy. All right, so on to the next phase. Hold on, three. Okay. On to the next phase of the picking. It's pin five. You need to get pin five to a false gate. Seven is now binding. Seven is a side pin. So I just push the pick in like that. 11 is now in a false gate. Back to the other side. One still in its false gate. Four. Six is now in a serration. I felt the core move just a tiny bit. And eight is a side pin. Try to move him there. Let's get ten into a false gate now. All right, ten is in the false gate. One is loose. Two is binding now. So two is in a serrated. To get him into the true gate, I need to use a different pick because it reaches up way too high. Okay, there you go. So here the light touch. Three now is binding. Three now is in a, its true gate, so it's springy. So you might be wondering, how come I know where all these pins are? Well, because I took the lock apart, I mapped them out. I look at the gates. I noted them down so I know exactly where I am in the picking process. Right, still, sometimes I still get lost and lose track. So five is now binding and it's refusing to go into a gate. I wonder why that is. 
Let's check the other pins and see. Okay, six is binding. Okay, no longer. Let's try five again. Let's check two and three. Make sure they are still loose. Five is binding. There, five is now loose. Seven is okay. Nine is almost a zero lift. Eleven's still good. Okay, let's check the left side again. Binder. I believe I need pin one to bind so I can get him into a gate. It's refusing to bind, so I need to check all the other pins and see why. there was kind of tight. Why is it one binding? Let me loosen up tension a bit. Try to see if some pins will reset. Okay, three. Came back down. Just got them set. Also, mine is pretty tight, but it's a zero lift next to a true gate, so I don't want to touch him. Okay, six is binding. to pin it's not binding ok 
Two six just fell into a serration. And they're all loose. And so is the right side now. Okay, might have to move to the next phase of picking. So six is very high. So I need a different pick. Try to nudge him in place. Ease up on the tension. Hopefully, that convinces six to get into the trigger. Okay, uh, let's check the other pins. One still loose. Nothing on all the other pins. Okay, the other side. Seven still okay. Nine still okay. Now eleven. Ease up on tension. We got one click, that's a serration, that's not the true gate. That's the pick slipping, means I need to ease tension. It's slipping again. Hope I haven't dropped any pin. If I haven't and I've done this right, only one pin is holding us back. There we go. Got an open. <sighs> it's a monster of a pick. I won't do a full gutting because this lock is, is frankly scary to gut. So I'll keep this here. Get the lights somehow out of the way. Sure, focus is okay. Now let's get the vice out. Okay. Let's cover it up, make sure you don't fly. This 
So correct jeans had to remove the screws. I discovered like a shortcut wherein you just take out the strip clip here and this thing, the ring, and you can actually gut this like this. Okay, we need to lock it up so you can kind of, yeah, no need to remove the screws. Okay, so we have the sidebar there where I was keeping my thumb in, and we have the sidebar springs. Okay, now let me give you a zoom in. Make sure it's focused. And this mechanism is a pleasure to watch. There, it's all aligned, which allows the sidebar to fall back in. Okay, this has been the Miwa. PR. I'll put the lock together now. Back together now. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a very, very challenging. So if you guys have any questions or if you're trying to attack this lock and would like some tips can send me a message i'm jerks on the reddit